and uh, not to be confused with race red either. No, no. Um, on the camera, it can look like race red, can it? Yeah, but it's for you, it's not. Just to prove that. Um, but yeah, we, I thought I'd stand by the side exit, which is the most impressive bit. So we're going to go out in a minute and do uh, our favourite bit of road. Just do some flybys in uh, whatever. Weather's nice. We haven't cleaned it yet. The car's filthy, but there's no point in doing that because we're going to make it. If we clean it, it's going to get dirty again. So yeah. James wants to pick it off um, what, tomorrow, I think, and um, we'll get it all clean for him. But as you can see, so we're just having a little wander around. Um, we've already put the negative camera on the front, not too much, because as I said before, just to reiterate on what I said, these are eight out or 17, so they're an inch wider than the old ones, which means that they're an inch closer to the like, first half of the strut. These are the MJP camber plates, aren't they? Yeah, so um, which are going to be available very soon. Just waiting for them to, uh, for our good friend Junior, they've done that full form. The fabrication's all done, it's just been uh, their black anodized, so we'll be getting them this week, which will give you a degree and a half of negative camber. Uh, and you can purchase them. We've already been up and tested it um, once since then, it's come back. I've balanced all the wheels because, believe it or not, some of them didn't have any wheel weights on them. So we balance them static on the inside only. We balance them all the same because you might want to swap them from front to the back. And then if I start putting weights here, and then we move them to there, you move that wheel to there, there's a chance it might touch the caliber because you've got the big calibers on the front. So you also have a bit forward thinking. Um, yeah, so it's just sat down nice as we want it, come around to the front. See it a lot better there, guys. Yeah. You can clearly see the, the negative number. Um, and like you say, just it's just the profile of the tyres. You yeah. could go, you could go Good. more on it, couldn't you? But uh, cracking little, <laughs> I love to have this out on circuit because, um, yeah, it just reminds us of the the little beast of the side exit because it looked very similar the way that it was done, and the, the sound of it is quite similar, believe it or not. And um, yeah, it would be, uh, it would be, yeah, it would be pretty, pretty good fun, I think. Uh, on circuit, we just come went to Castle Coom, didn't we? We did, yeah. On the, uh, one of our customers, and yeah, with this being RT330 and whatever, uh, on circuit with the methanol, it'd be cracking. So maybe, I don't know, maybe James is you know, going to take it on, on circuit, who knows? But um, yeah, so anyway, let's get out and have some fun to me, mate. So, so this one is our good customer Sam's yeah, Rebo Stage 180. 2 at the moment. At the moment, uh, he went for Rebo Stage 1, and he went for Rebo Stage 2. We've done that when we've done the Simpson, um, you know, the Miltech connector pipes, spring cap, um, rear stops that you've seen before. Um, he's already got the, um, the curved indicator and all that sort of stuff through memory. So a lot of stuff he's already got. So what's it back for? It's back to have an upgrade to RT330 turbo kit, which we have got one. Um, luckily, it's probably the only one in the country. Um, and basically, we're going to be doing the same on the transmission as what James has had. So James already runs RT330. Um, it's not I've got the manifold on this. I think I've got the Simpson manifold on it. But anyway, for the time being, we'll just run it on the on the stock manifold. So anybody can get over an RT330, no problem. You know, I think our Turbo Technics will still rebuild it for you. Um, so, but it can still offer the software. And I, my own personal opinion, I still think it's the best one to have because the software from Revo has been created all safely and research and development tried and tested and it all works to me doesn't it? It does yeah. 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 It's all been done for you, you haven't got to start trying to create something new and test it and all that because it's already been done for you so it's a lot less stress. So get yeah, an RT330 is the way to go I think, the way to do it isn't it? Yeah, I mean we're big fans of it here. It's really, really uh, good upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, yeah. Well, we got this one to do. That's so all it's come, guys. Yeah. Um, Sam's really going to enjoy that. And obviously, as always, we'll be sharing all that with you on our mm. social media, with the build on YouTube and uh, yeah, Instagram and Facebook as well. Absolutely. So anyway, let's get on with the molten orange.
takes guys yeah but um yeah we're just gonna take it steady along here first because uh yeah there are wildlife so just want to be careful because what one comes out yeah you'll be all right past the, yeah, that's right. the cattle grid it's and always that. more than one so you think oh it's just the one no no half a dozen coming out no i've had it well it's up to yeah. before this is the sort of time where they across from one yeah, yeah. woodland to the other, isn't it? That's a good thing about them, the road is um, it's all penned in and it's you can't, well, yeah, you can't get on the no, road, no. So you should, yeah, you'd be alright once you get past it. But. See the side exit, which is um, yeah, you, yeah, you just see it, yeah, it's mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of the you know the it's weird because it works different on different applications, but this um, yeah, with uh, what we've done here, it's that the side exit is just yeah, really chucking the flames out, and it's pretty awesome because you can see it obviously on a you might be able to see it on a rear exit exhaust if, if you're looking you might be able to the darker it is the more you see it i suppose just a flash but you can actually see this and it's proper overrun so when you come off throttle it's properly controlled flame coming out the side it's not your little puff, little puff of uh little little firework it's not like that no duds here viewers this is proper and it's um we'll show you so i'll do some like flybys and then timmy can video it and you'll see the uh the flames hopefully we'll get one close up if i like come off and just you know, it's when you change here come off throttle uh, depending on you know it's random it doesn't do it all the time so we'll see what uh, but what we're going to do first is just shut him down and then we'll do a um we'll do a static vid to me before i uh get out in it yeah yeah sounds good yeah guys yeah. we'll just give you an overview of the car yeah, why not see, yeah. you know check out all the previous videos in the series to see what's been yeah. done to the car so That'll go into more detail, but we'll give you a good look around the car as well here now, mm. um, you know, in its finished state as it were. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that now, guys. Yeah, we're at dust now, guys, and uh, where are we, Martin? We're right outside the entrance for, one of the entrances, my I add, for the uh, Hamden Mine, which is Tungsten in the west. So this is a big mine. It's huge. You can see, look, huge. We've actually, me and the missus, when we've done our 
training for my 50 mile walk. Before you walked all the way around here. Um, and it's quite interesting, yeah. Um, beautiful evening. Yeah, it is. And it's really lovely. And really quiet. I mean, this road, this is all like the, this is the racers road, isn't it? Well, Bikes, cars, anything, and they come up here, don't they? But well, we don't, we don't want to, no. we don't want to ruin that. So <laughs> we're sticking to the speed limit. Yeah, yours. we are. Yeah, of we course. are. Now this is like, as you can see, like you can I don't justify it on camera, but the 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 gradient is it's quite steep, that, isn't it? Well, that's why um, we call it. The it's, that's why we call it the plimber plimber ring. Then. It is. If you come up here, it's like um, yeah, you've got adverse camera there, and it's like flick left and right there. So um, there's been a few mishaps up here. Um, Obviously, there that's going to happen yeah, there. Yeah, there it is. I mean, it's a fantastic bit of road, and as you can see, everything is fenced off, um, so they've done it properly. So no wildlife getting any sheep or deer or um, you know badgers running. It's all fenced off. So they, yeah. you know, I'd like to say that it's quite secure, um, to be honest. Um, and look at it; like it's just dead quiet. Isn't it? It's just dead quiet. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's weird, guys. You know, because we're not that far from Plymouth, but no. It's really, really quiet here. Yeah, um, it's, it, yeah. Um, it really is. Oh, but it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a favourite. But, um, but speaking of that, I yes. mean, look how good does this look, guys? You know, with the in dusk. Yeah. I mean, this car, absolutely stunning. It really, yeah. really, really looks nice. Yeah. Hence why we've uh, Julian's put a shield around it uh, because uh, <laughs> of the flames that come out. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? So, um, yeah, it's. Um, Hi mate. Yeah, so um, change of location, Martin. Well, we've had to move. We were just in the midst of getting getting going uh, with the vid, and then some jobs were come along. Um, we obviously, I don't know what he's done. Just uh, um, well, not secure. I don't know. Was he st I don't think he's security. Was he? he was just uh, driving around in a truck for um, you know the the mine, Emerald Mine, and um, obviously just thought he would, uh, you know, just likes a bit of try and use a bit of authority and told us that we're going to move on because we were you've seen the size of the entrance yeah we weren't blocking it in any way we we're just like parked there just minding our own business i mean it's look at the time of the evening uh, the roads are dead and yet he said yeah you can't park gear just in case just in case what mate yeah. um what what's going to happen enough what? about him that loser um <laughs> so um what he should have said was no problem at all lads carry on what you're doing um and then you know obviously just make sure that you there's access here, no problem at all. That's what I would have done, but good that's, cop, yeah, bad that, cop that's thing, common, yeah. That's common sense, though, isn't it? Well, yeah, so. but hey, some people haven't got it, mate, no. unfortunately. No. Um, <laughs> On far more important things, guys, yeah, yeah we're back here with uh, James's lovely Mark mm. 7. And um, yeah. before we were interrupted, uh, yeah. yeah, we're talking about the, the side exit and obviously the, um, right, yeah. the work that Julian's done to that. Yeah, that's it. So, um, like I said, it had to be modified because um, this is one that James got from America. And it's yeah, it's sort of like fitted, but it didn't, if you know what I mean. So Julian had to just reconfigure it so that it's fitted, you know, as best as you can. Um, but it's fine, so it's done now. And then you can see you got the the trim around here, like we said yeah. before. We got rudely interrupted. Um, yeah, the shielding, which is good. Um, and well, uh, and, and well needed as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's good fun though. You'll see in a minute when we do them. So we'll get some flybys and we'll get some flames out of it, but let me look in the back. So obviously look, you can't see that that's all been filled in though, as we you know done the video on that, so that's um pretty good. Um and then if we look in the back, look, you've got the meth tank, and we've got the strut brace, and we've got a new thing seen on the side of the tank look. I love meth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, uh, that's uh, the stickers that we get. Have you with these any kids? ideas that you've got one as well, mate? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, under the bonnet, let's have a quick look under there. I mean, the car needs to clean, we've got to clean it and all that. Yeah, I mean, James just wants to pick it up next week. Um, but just under the bonnet there, we've done some um, heat management now. It's a lot better now that heat management's been done because before it was like um, we've added some new hoses this one this one which yeah, we James talk, sent we to me yeah we talked about them on the last yeah. video so um, makes some cracking sounds doesn't it on it it really does guys um, it's, it sounds lovely on mm. the road uh, really yeah, nice yeah definitely it's um yeah he's going to be well chuffed he can't wait to get in and start driving it um so I think he's going to um I think he's coming down I think he's sending a, a truck, truck down to pick it up with him that's what you're saying um but anyway whichever whatever he decides to do um but yeah, I mean, like the. So what will we do? 
once you've got this out of the way in the road test I'll go back um, we got a little bit of um, the wheels need balancing than the last time that was done but I'll, re I'll balance them uh, wherever James gone done from this need a they need to be rebalanced because we've got a little bit of vibration at that certain speed and you can drive out of it so we'll do that balance them all the way around have a look at the camber and the tracking uh, side of it again just to make sure um, and yeah and then just give it a final sign off and then um, we're all good to go but at the moment yeah I mean just checking on any luck it's not my car at the end of the day it's a customer's car so I'll just you know be sensible in it when I'm checking the handling and in the you know the speed and all that sort of stuff because you know it at the end of the day it's you've got to be respectful I'm always respectful of customers cars I don't go and start you know maxing them out like other companies do um, not my style well, why would I do that so I've got my own car to do that in not I but yeah so that's a quick little um update of it there to me yeah quick little yeah. overview um yeah I mean yeah as I said guys check out all the other videos if you haven't seen it because you know there's loads and loads of stuff that's been done on this car yeah. uh coilovers the the brake setup that's been done to it um yeah loads and loads of stuff guys but you know if you haven't seen it already go back and check out all the other mm. videos um yeah there's loads of work yeah. that's, uh, and then we're gonna, done. we're gonna go back up to the road uh, we're not gonna park anywhere outside there mate no we're not gonna park I'm sure we're allowed to drive on the road Unless he tells us otherwise, yeah. he might be around the, you know, like a the old Smokey and the Bandit. He might be <laughs> around the corner like that. He might be. He might, <laughs> he might, he might be like Boss Fog. Yeah, he might be. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, let's go and have a bit more fun, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Um, because um, this is the time now, but it's starting to um, look draw in now. So we got to get some nice flames. Yeah. So let's let's do it. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have to stand up and cope uh, on the side of the road like you did with the RS, and then I'll be in a nice warm car. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mind because it's the summer now. It's not the depths of winter like with the RS. Well, so, uh, we've got yeah, to do it tonight, good. viewers, because tomorrow is going to be raining again. Yep. And, yeah, well, and, it's, and uh, also it's, it's the clear uh, sky, as you can see, guys. Yeah, it's the Monaco Grand Prix, so we'll be watching that. All right? Definitely. Yeah. Right, let's, All right, do, let's it. do it, guys. So we've definitely uh, been uh, rinsing through it, that's for sure. So and you know it's working anyway, because we've got the controller to tell us. So yeah, we're up to, yeah, that's about right, it's just under 200, uh, was it? We've got 200, yes, yeah, so we've got 200 PSI, which is great. Just got it operates at, that's that's going to We'll have a quick uh, look around the front. It's quite a good, uh, Little shakedown, wasn't it? It was, yeah, very successful. Yeah, I mean, you were in the car. We just done a casual drive down, didn't we? We did. Yeah. And then on the way back, a little bit quicker, just to test the handling side of it, um, which was all quite happy with that. And we'll just show you under the uh, under the bonnet. This is why it's important to have all the heat management, especially with the manifold that he's got, because there was none there before. Now we put all the heat management in. It's um, it's just safer isn't it so and then we got obviously all the all the mess side of it down there um yeah so we're all the we're pretty much good to go so that's that's uh 
that's a wrap as they say on this one to me isn't it it is yeah well james. that hasn't got a wrap on it it's still it the, hasn't yeah. got a wrap no, no. but uh, I th yeah i think james is going to be really happy with this yeah um, yeah loads of work um, gone into it i mean like with here i think he's gonna because they never would never finish it under here do they so whatever he's going to do he's talking about getting a carbon fiber bonnet like you've got to me and like we've got the Sibon one um that's an option for him or he might get that painted on the underside who knows it, but that's you know but he needs that can't have that on there it's just you know it's an insulator and it just holds heat same with the engine cover you need to get it out um but yeah so we're pretty much um yeah pretty happy with it it's, it's all good um the way it behaves the way it handles we've checked this check that great from the first time i could push it a little bit further and um your corner in speed with the negative camber front and rear really good even because you even felt that on the first did, the yeah. first time and then we pushed it a little bit more tonight on the corner and um yeah i didn't tell you what speed i was doing around the corner but it was nice it was like go-kart to me wasn't it it was yeah, yeah. yeah. Really it's really good so um yeah that's it so i'm done my bit to me um i'll leave you to do the uh to the outro but thanks ever so much guys and girls for uh, for sticking with us and uh if you've been following the progress on the from what we've been doing on james's car he's really excited we've got to give it a quick wash in the morning and you know the plan is that he wants to come and get it tomorrow so another one bites the dust yeah on another, with the next which we talked about before so we've got sam i think to do there's loads that we've got to do but um yes um time to you know what's the time now so the time now is uh it's getting up to eight o'clock yeah, so this is yeah. another evening that we've been out you know bank holiday monday as well yeah, guys and girls yeah well, never so. stops never stops um but yeah we've we, you know it's um we have to do what we got to do and um yeah so until the next time who knows i might have short hair the next time well, no no beard i don't think that's who knows all, who knows so, i don't think that's right we'll keep that a secret to me but yeah. uh yeah so cheers martin yeah um loads of stuff happened on this one yeah as martin said check out the other videos in the series if you haven't seen them already uh, there'll be loads of pictures of this one going up on our social media so instagram and facebook lots of noise lots of noise as well yeah we'll be uh putting some clips on our instagram as well of the same clips of this one it's some swift really gear changes yeah yeah <laughs> but um yeah if you like what you see on this one guys if you're interested in any of the upgrades give the garage a call and uh, let us know in the comments what you think on this one uh whether you like it whether you don't like it uh let us know and uh yeah if you like your fast wall content make sure you subscribe new videos coming every week and uh, we'll catch you on the next one guys cheers see you later <laughs>